Hey, good afternoon, All Saints. I hope this finds you well. We are entering into this time in the church calendar called Ordinary Time. It's a liturgical season. Uh, marked, as Philip has said in various occasions, marked by green to signify our uh, growth and godliness and so forth. Uh, we've been having some summer adventure days for the kids up here at the church. And a couple weeks ago, some kids were fighting over this toy. I couldn't exactly tell what the toy was. And the kids apparently didn't know what the toy was either because one kid got the toy away from the other kid and then stared at it, unsure how to play with it, unsure what it was, and was kind of frustrated that after all of that work to get the toy and all of that argument, that here it was something he didn't know how to use, how to get benefit um, from. You know, the rest of the church calendar centers around the gospel, um, how we are brought into a relationship with the Father, uh, namely through the Son. Easter, of course, we celebrate the resurrection of Christ, Ascension Day, His Ascension, uh, Good Friday, His death, and so forth. But sometimes I think we can so focus upon the entry into the kingdom, the gospel, can't over-focus on it, but sometimes we focus on it to the exclusion of what we do now that we have been saved. Um, what is our salvation for? We're kind of like the kid who gets the toy, but now what? We've been saved, but to what have we been saved? In ordinary times, the season for us to reflect upon, okay, now that we're entered into the door of this house, let's take a tour of the house. Uh, now that we have this thing, salvation, how do we use it? What's the purpose of our salvation? And so we thought it would be fitting over the next few weeks to do uh, an in-depth sermon series on the eighth chapter of Romans, which specifically answers this question of life in the spirit. Now that you are a Christian, now that the gospel has saved you from sin to life, how then should you and I live? And so I really hope in the next several weeks you're able to join us as uh, in the month of July, we take a deep look into Romans 8 and ask the question, how, in light of this wonderful gospel, now that we have this uh, gift above all gifts, uh, namely our salvation, how then are we to live in light of this uh, great gospel, Evangelion, uh, good news, gift that we have Receive, I would also encourage you, uh, perhaps starting even today, to read through Romans chapter 8, maybe once or twice a week ahead of each Sunday. I know I will be doing that just as we uh, prepare the sermons and so forth uh, going forward, taking intentional time to just read and meditate on this uh, good news, yes, uh, but also instruction of life in the spirit, which is found in Romans chapter eight. If there's anything I or any of the other clergy members uh, can do for you before this Sunday, uh, never hesitate to reach out. My uh, email is dustin at ascdallas.org. I hope you're having a good restful summer. Go in peace.